In this first video of the section, we're going to create some widgets and convert them to a dynamic panel. In this first video of the section, we're going to create some widgets and convert them to a dynamic panel. Using more detailed prototype interactions, we're now going to build a typical slideshow and link to our products from the home page. This is a good example of where you should use dynamic panels. Open your home page and drag out a rectangle that will form the background of our first slide. We'll make it a little narrower than the width of our main column so we can fit some controls in. We'll add a background and apply some formatting to make our rectangle look better. Next we'll drag out a heading 2 and an image. Let's give our slide a title. You may want to add a real image here rather than a placeholder so that the project looks more representative of the end product. Double click the image widget to open the file browser you will find these image files in your code pack. We'll add a paragraph of text about our product next and do some resizing. We'll also add a link so that you can get to the destination page. Now that we have our content for our first slide, we'll convert it to a dynamic panel. It's worth mentioning at this point that in version 7 there are fewer instances where it's necessary to convert to dynamic panels. The first being this, where you have an object with a number of different states that you want to switch between. The other is where you have a number of widgets where you want to apply the same effect to moving, hiding or showing on the same event. There is a grouping function built into Axia, but this is primarily to allow you to create selection groups so you can easily move related widgets around within the page. You can't apply an interaction to a set of grouped widgets. Let's ungroup our slide. You can also create dynamic panels from scratch by dragging it out from the widget library, but we're not going to do that. Rather, we'll convert to a dynamic panel with a simple right-click action. You'll see that the dynamic panel has a light blue sheen over it. Let's look at how the widget manager has changed to display our dynamic panel. It uses this little layers icon to signify a dynamic panel. We have now created a dynamic panel with its first and default state, which has also been given a default name of state 1. Check out the hover preview, a nice touch. <laughs> 